this is probably one of the videos you were expecting the most. We're gonna do a smoke test or an efficiency airflow test to three battery types. Toyota original hybrid battery, the new sodium hybrid battery for my good friend Jack from Dr. Prius, and the cylindrical hybrid battery. Which one of these battery has the best or the most efficient cooling system? So we need, I'm gonna use this Ansel diagnostic leak detector. I'm gonna place smoke inside the ventilation system and let's see which one creates the most pressure and the most equal or better air internal distribution. Okay, I'm going to start the, this cooling fan right here is already connected with a PWN signal, which is, let's see, let's wait for the cooling fan to start. See, all right, we have now airflow right here. It's gonna be a mess, but I can already feel it with my hands. Right here, it's lighter, and the strongest air is like this. Let's test it. Let me start the smoke machine, Let's give it more smoke. There it is, here we go. All right, <laughs> so we can clearly see it. Look, right here, the majority of the air clearly coming from this side. You can actually feel it with your hands. Let's see. <laughs> All right, cylindrical hybrid battery airflow. You can clearly see the gap in between the battery modules, it's too, it's too separate. So therefore, it doesn't allow to create enough pressure to distribute better the air. So that's why the air comes more on this side. Now let's check the sodium battery. Give me a second. Let's check the sodium battery. I need to bring this down here. Give me a second. I'm gonna place the cooling fan here. All right. We have now air flowing inside the sodium battery. Let's check. Oh, look, the sodium battery is different. Look, it allows to create lots of pressure. Now the reason is because the sodium battery has the cells, cylindrical cells in between, and that allows Oh, wow, look, I am very amazed that the sodium battery <laughs> is definitely better than the cylindrical. You can clearly see here with your eyes, let's see, oh, what? Yep, Jack, well done. Okay, now we know that the sodium battery has the cells located in between, cross from them, and that allows that battery to become with a way better air distribution. Now, finally, let's test the original Toyota battery. Here we go in three, two, one. Let's see. Okay, now look at the gap in between the modules of the original Prismatic hybrid battery and look, the gap is very, very short. So that allows to create pressure inside the battery and you will have, look, a way better air distribution on the original hybrid battery. That is the problem with the, here we go again with the cylindrical hybrid battery. Unfortunately, the cylindrical hybrid battery, it's trouble. Look, see for yourself. Yeah, air is coming, but the majority of the smoke coming from this side. Mm, not a good idea. So this is a very nice demonstration or a practical demonstration to see that the cylindrical hybrid battery it's pretty good. So Chris Fix, my friend, I'm very fan of your videos, but unfortunately I saw your video saying that this is way better air distribution, more efficient. Unfortunately, that is not true. The gap is too long in between the modules that doesn't allow the cylindrical battery to create pressure. So therefore there is more because of the volume, there's more air in this side than in this side. The sodium is totally another story because it has the cylindrical cells in between. So that allows to create more pressure and more heat or better heat distribution. And finally, of course, the original hybrid battery, no discussion. It's always going to be the best because the gap in between creates pressure underneath before the air comes in that allows a better air distribution. Now you know which battery is the best. Let me know in the comments. If you want to know more, stick around for more tips. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. A hybrid battery will remain in balance if absolutely all the modules work at exactly the same temperature. Now, if we go to the cylindrical battery, the gap is too big in between the modules. No pressure. So therefore, the air is going to flow more to one of the sides than the other.
cylindrical, look, it's another story. It's the cylindrical cells located in between in a triangle shape. And the original as well, the original, the, ga the air gap in the original is even better. The gap is very short, creates enough pressure for equal heat distribution. Modules need to work at exactly the same temperature to remain in balance. So the cylindrical batteries, the battery with better distribution are going to work better. The batteries with less airflow won't work the same. That's why over time you will have just a a downstairs shape pattern. In the original, over time, is because the modules are trapped in between. In the middle of the modules, they begin to suffer heat stress. So how do we solve the problem? Well, we need just rotate it. That's it, problem solved. We cannot do that with the cylindrical sodium battery because this is just one single assembly. But in this case, in case of the cylindrical, you will have to do a 100% rotation. That's how it is. In order to remain in balance, they need to work equally.